Let's look at question number one. We're going to solve using the variable approach method. Here's the original condition right now. Well, we'll first change the original condition according to the variable approach method. V, the volume, is equal to pi r squared h. We have three variables, v, r, and h. And we already have one equation given here. This means that we need two more equations. Condition 1 gives us an equation. Condition 2 gives us another equation. So this makes it likely that C is going to be our answer. Let's check that it's the case. Conditions 1 and 2 together now. Volume is equal to pi 4 squared times 8. What we have is 128 pi. It's sufficient. And C is going to be our answer. Remember, this is called the variable approach method, currently the most efficient recognized way of solving GMAT problems.